Hey, Coach Shoemake here. Talking to the parents today a little bit, I want to talk to you about something called an accommodation. What the heck is an accommodation? It's something that we use at school that we make a special adjustment for to help kids, help the students do a little bit better on their studies. It's nothing drastic, but it is things that we keep our eye on all the time. And I'm going to talk to you about two accommodations today. One of them is called stay on task reminders. And the other one is simply positive reinforcement. So what is stay on task reminders? Well, you know, you got to remember we're dealing with kids that uh, are 10, or 10 and 11 years old, some 12, but they do have an active imagination, don't they? And they can get distracted easily. So just take a look at this and tell me if you could get distracted with what's going on. I can hear a weed eater, winds blowing, not to mention, not to mention the Harley, right? Anyway, if you can get distracted, believe me, they can get distracted too. I want to come in here and show you what the inside of your house may present to your kids. Normally, people would have their children do their homework in their room or maybe in the living room so they can keep an eye on them. And that's, that's understandable. But you got to realize that there are distractions in those places. Right here, if I sat up right here and looked out and had the window open, kids would be easily distracted by everything that's going on out there. Wind blowing, things moving around, dogs, cats running around, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and let me tell you a few things. When a kid is working on their schoolwork and they tend to get distracted or you look over and they're really kind of daydreaming, maybe they're looking out the window or maybe they're not really paying attention. A stay on task reminder is simple and all you have to do is walk up to the, your child and just say, hey buddy, concentrate on what you're doing right there. See if you can get number five. Let me take a look at that and just refocus them. We're not looking for um, a parent to come up and, uh, and um, be aggressive with that uh, reminder and get on to your kid in a disciplinary way. That's not really necessary. Um, but stay on task reminders may occur every two or three minutes. It really requires diligent observation from the parent to make sure that the child is uh, staying on task. But be gentle with it. You also need to remember this, some children may be playing with their pencil, fiddling with their pencil constantly while they're looking down and while they're thinking. This is something that they do to um, uh, work through their inability to really focus. If they can tie up um, uh, their hands with movement or maybe they're bouncing their knee, those kind of things are, are things that children do um, to help themselves concentrate. See, their brain a lot of times has to be stimulated from different um, areas. And so if there's movement going on in the body, the, the knees bouncing up and down or they're playing with their pencil, it allows the brain that's working on their reading or their math to focus a little more. So be aware of that and you need to be considering that with each individual kid. Sometimes children listen to music while they're studying. It doesn't work for me. Um, but it does work for some, and it's because that music ties up a part of their brain um, that doesn't need to be stimulated as long as the music's playing, and they can use the, a different part of their brain to concentrate on their studies. Another thing that you may consider is frequent breaks when you have children that need stay-on-task reminders all the time. Uh, I went through college and never studied more than 10 minutes at a time. I had to have frequent breaks. My brain was just active all the time. These kids have active imagination. Um, their energy is high and they can be distracted easy. And um, that's really common. It's not uncommon. Uh, matter of fact, it's more common um, than it is to find a child that can just really focus at this age. So be aware of that. Um, as you do these stay on task reminders, I want you to keep in mind that um, uh, positive reinforcement is the key. 
So when you go up to a child and you want him to refocus, you don't want it to be a negative thing, like a disciplinary thing. Positive reinforcement. Point out something that looks good. Hey, your handwriting really looks good on, uh, on this reading assignment right here. I didn't know you could write that good. That's great. Hey, look, you've got four out of five of these problems. Keep it up. You only have one more to go. Come on now. Focus a little bit. Let's see if we can get this done. Hey, I'm proud of you for getting through this work today. I know you got two or three more, but you've been working at it so hard for the last 15 minutes. Why don't you come over here and let me get you a drink of uh, Kool-Aid or something, and then you can sit down in just a second. Give them a little break. Positive reinforcement um, on what they've done right all the time. And um, uh, you got to remember that that positive reinforcement needs to be genuine. So don't walk over to them and say, hey, Johnny, I'm so proud of the fact that you put your name at the top of that paper. Wow, what an amazing thing. That's not really genuine positive reinforcement, right? So we got to be genuine with it so that they believe that we are really sincerely proud of what they're doing and understand their struggles, okay? Stay on task reminders positive reinforcement, they go together. Now, one more thing. If you don't think it's easy to get distracted and you think that, it, that your children should be able to focus all the time and not be distracted, I want you to take a look at the beginning of this video and see if you even recognize that my shirt changed from the beginning of the video to now. Maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't. But if you didn't notice something like that because you were distracted a little bit, maybe from the motorcycle or the view outside or me walking around, imagine how hard it is for a 10 or 11 year old student to stay focused for a long period of time. Use those stay on task reminders at the house and always, always use positive reinforcement before you take any other steps. Good luck with your studies at home. Thanks.